Hello folks, I'm Richard Moore, North Mississippi Anti-Gang Stalking Association on Facebook, YouTube, United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association, Tumblr, and Criminal Stalking Now. I'd like to speak a little bit today, and this is for all the, uh, the uh, targeted individuals, victims if you will, and uh, and also for those that uh, are victims of uh, these crimes against humanity, and you probably uh, don't realize that there is a name for it and that you're not alone. So if you've been uh, somehow life is uh, has taken a turn for the worse and uh, you've been alienated by your friends and family, isolated, uh, been subject to rumors and smear tactics and lies, maybe false arrest, false imprisonment, forced into homelessness, been told that you need to uh, seek psychiatric uh, care, that you're uh, schizophrenic or it goes on and on and on at uh, but somehow you know that you're not crazy and uh, but you're having trouble getting other people to understand what's really going on well you're not alone and there's thousands hundreds of thousands of people that do understand there's millions of people worldwide that are victims of government controlled, government ran crimes against humanity, where individuals are targeted. And this uh, trickles down from the highest levels of our federal government, or law enforcement, from the FBI's, coin, coin, uh, I almost said, this is part of the, the ban COINTEL pro program, but the FBI's InfraGuard and to the DHS fusion centers, all the way down to your EMS workers, volunteer fire departments, and then your fraternal organizations and cults like Masons and Mormons. So, um, so here we are. I, I get uh, messages virtually uh, 24 and 7, and it's impossible for me to uh, field all those messages in, uh, in a timely manner. I, I will eventually get, get back with you. Um, but I do want to offer some, uh, some, uh, if anything, uh, a positive note, maybe something that uh, will encourage you to press on. I wished I'd have known years ago that uh, or was able to uh, listen to someone that actually. Uh, completely knew exactly what I was going through and explained it and could have explained it to me. I could have saved me a lot of uh, grief over the years. Uh, but most of us learn the hard way. Many are not with us. Many today are, are at the end of the rope. They're, they're on the edge. They, uh, they, uh, they just feel like they don't have anything to live for or nothing to look forward to. What's the use in, in keep trying? And I, I want to encourage you uh, to absolutely push back on that and, and refuse to accept that prescription. And this uh, targeting program, the DHS, uh, Department of Homeland Security, which is not a federal agency, by the way, uh, it calls it a citizen corp. It's a holistic approach to policing. And that's where they place uh, people on a government watch list that you'll never get to see. We don't know how many people are on it. We do know there's hundreds of thousands. And thanks to the Patriot Act, uh, American citizens are systematically denied civil and constitutional rights. These entries are fraudulent. Uh, our 14th Amendment uh, affirms the fact that all men are created equal and that we're all 
uh, that is our birthright as an American citizen, and we all uh, equally uh, must uh, experience due process and have that constitutional protection and to be able to enjoy life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. When those things are systematically and abjectly denied, that is a crime. Whether people are uh, stalking you and, and with color harassment with cars or on foot um, or, or, or hacking your phones and computers and uh, and are using electronic uh, uh, direct energy weapons, everything from holograms to V2K, this voice to skull, where you, you hear voices and, and so forth. And uh, now, mind you, uh, this program is designed that whatever they do, and, and they're going to keep doing it, by the way, they don't stop uh, because it's. Uh, because there's so many involved, the crime is so horrendous, uh, loose lips sink ships. God forbid that uh, the victim and one of their stalkers reconcile one day and, and start comparing notes, uh, and, and they can't afford that for that to ever happen. And because money uh, runs this whole deal, and with armies of moronic uh, simpletons uh, carrying out the deeds, you have a perfect mixture for a perfect storm. So the end game for all targeted individuals is uh, to take their own life, to die. Uh, you know, well, they want dope, and we knew it would happen, or uh, whatever. To, but to take their own life. Um, it, it was suggested to me many times by uh, my frontline stalker in Oklahoma, Mississippi. Those very words. His family. Uh, all of them are, are involved in organized criminal stalking. Now they put on a, a face and a picture of, 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 some, of something else and of course the victim is always the bad guy. The victim is it's always the monster. They complain often times. Well, you've said this and said that but they can't ever say or single out any lie that I told. I absolutely told the truth. And now everything they said about me was a lie. And uh, but they they uh, uh, the way they define truth is uh, is not the way that most people uh, would define truth. They they pose as uh, Christians. Many of them they're fake Christians going to fake churches and uh, living this good old boy. Uh, uh, lifestyle and, and getting social acceptance while they uh, absolutely criminalize the victim. Just like telling the young lady, perhaps you should start wearing longer skirts. Maybe you wouldn't be raped as often. It's that mentality. I live in the dirty South. It's still the dirty South. The hate groups, the Ku Klux Klan, you don't see them that with the uh, uh, with uh, the pointed hats and so forth, uh, you know, uh, it, it's funny. You get the, the all these old white men complain about wearing masks and uh, and but uh, and I always think, well, you know, you had any problems wearing wearing a mask and hood when you go to a Klan meeting? So why well, complain about going to Walmart? But anyway, it's uh, alive and well in the South. It's all inclusive now. So they've included. Uh, uh, the African Americans, and so you've got plenty of Uncle Toms and Aunt Toms that's joined in the deal, uh, and and play their part in this holistic approach. It's everybody working together, from doctors, law enforcement, uh, educators, and so forth, uh, to make this work. So if you play ball, you get to uh, enjoy the the benefits of the All Almighty Dollar. Since COVID hit Walmart has made over a trillion, and that's where the T, dollars in profit. While many, thousands, tens upon thousands of small businesses are closed, never to reopen. So uh, it is all about the money. You have people like Bill Gates and George Soros and these clowns that believe that they know better about the population of this planet 
and uh, and what what we need and what we don't need. Uh, so obviously they want to depopulate. They've been doing depopulation for a long time, uh, with hundreds of thousands of unborn children. Lives obviously don't matter. They don't get a say in it. It's called murder. I'm just being completely blunt. It's called murder. There's no way you can justify. It doesn't matter how the pregnancy came about. That child, it wasn't the child's fault. We've got to stop blaming the children and murdering children. And it's business as usual. Well, the biggest problem that this world faces right now is genocide of its own citizens in broad daylight right in front of people and they don't realize it. You see the newspaper only prints and the news is going to tell you what they want you to hear. Very few times will you ever catch the truth uh, in mainstream media. And so when you see someone arrested and, and they're, they're accused of this crime, so forth and so on, you must question those things. I was arrested. I've been arrested many times. I, I was uh, thrown in prison for uh, corrupt law enforcement, planning evidence, lying in federal court. I've been very public about this. It was done intentionally to destroy and ruin my life. They have failed miserably in, in doing that. There many times uh, they were very close to succeeding. But uh, I've got a secret weapon. And it's not a secret. And that's God is still on the throne. And what Jesus did at Calvary's cross fixed it all. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that is the only answer for the for this world, for your for your problems, for your concerns, everything is what I just said. Many people feel like they 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 they've blown it. They've gone through life and uh, they've uh, uh, they've missed all these chances, and now here they are being targeted. They're prisoners in their own home. They're ostracized by the community, and I'm here to tell you that's a lie from the pits of hell. Do not fall for that. That's exactly what these people, and it's not the whole world against you, but they create this environment for each victim. The Truman Show was trying to tell us something. If you hadn't seen it, see it. This is uh, not just a, a, a kitsy little movie. This is a reality. And so they create this Truman Show type of um, situation where you're, in, you're entered into a matrix that you had no idea. So it's the red pill or the blue pill. I'm telling you that there's basic things that each victim must do. What they need to stop doing is trying is quit trying to be validated by other people. Say, well, they did. Well, that didn't prove anything. Well, that's called gaslighting, folks. Uh, usually, the people that you're talking to or whatever are in on the deal anyway. If you thought your family and friends were in on the deal. Chances are very good you're right about that, too. Does that mean they hate you? No. They, everybody gets a different lie on why they're doing it. Well, we're trying to help them. They're going to think this, but we're really doing that. It's all lies. It's, it's a Jedi mind trick, the whole deal. Just journal what's going on. There's things going on. People are, are taking cases to federal court. There's people working on class actions. Believe me, the Constitution is still in effect. The deep state is still working. And it has its tentacles deep into our society to a point that uh, we're at a very, very, very dangerous crossroads in America of losing, forfeiting. We, we forfeit our rights. When, when I'm arrested uh, for uh, expressing my opinion and my speech is suppressed and my First and Fourteenth Amendments are, are absolutely, abjectly denied, there is a problem. And I'm telling you, uh, I have no intentions of shutting up, backing up, sitting down, getting quiet, or just hope and pretend it'll go away. Because, folks, let me tell you, that's called wishbone. And I'm telling you, this boy here has got a backbone. Now, 
it's time for for those that have get that tried to throw in the towel is uh the it's not over and let me tell you folks the the opera's not over to the fat lady sings and the fat lady in this situation are the real true victims and these are the true heroes of this nation the people that have that, that this country that that uh, in the United States everyone has the inalienable right of life liberty and the pursuit of happiness the inalienable right that means it can't be taken away it's not the decision of a community that may not like you, they don't agree with your religion, your sexual orientation, your race, or anything else. It's not their call to make. So stop letting people make those calls. And and if you're isolated, good. That's I'm thank you, Lord, for getting a host of ass clowns out of my life. And I made more room for somebody that uh, that has made a difference. And now, hopefully, I can help make a difference for other people. Uh, I failed miserably uh, taking stabs at it, but I'm going to uh, keep uh, trying to do that. Our best days are ahead of us. Many people throw the towel in with their sweetest music still unplayed. There, 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 there's so much, regardless of what your age is, whether, whether you're... You're, you're uh, still a teenager or, or work, whether you're at retirement age. It's time to realize that uh, it's never too late to make a difference. You do, you do matter. It does matter. And we don't need any more what ifs. The victims and the people that are appalled at the things that I've mentioned, that things that are carried out by our own government, by our own government. When the FBI tells you we are not interested in entertaining any allegations that you may have where you assert that your civil or constitutional rights have been violated. I've been told that by the Attorney General's Office of the State of Mississippi and by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. That's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. This was out of getting any, any uh, what happened, any of that. Nope. That's what they told me. Uh, so, uh, we, uh, I, I'll be in federal courts soon. And, uh, and, uh, and keep going. You know, that's, uh, I know that the whole world is not on this corruption page of evil. So, we must continue to fight. I think about, uh, the what ifs. In the late uh, 1700s, uh, in um, I believe it was a German cathedral, in this uh, small town, uh, it they, they had an organist that had the man. Oh, it was old man had been playing for years, and he played beautiful music. For years, and and that, and the at the cathedral. Well, his uh, we know that we we can't stay there forever. He uh, in his late age, he was being replaced, and uh, so his last day. This is a true story, by the way. His last day. Um. He's playing a lot of uh, melancholy music on the pipe organ and playing it beautiful. Uh, it was his last day. The chapel, the cathedral w was empty. And uh, as he is, was playing, his replacement walked in the front door. And he sat there and he watched the old man. This was a teenager. And uh, he watched him and waited. And and the old man, when he finally finished, he, he, he closed the organ and he took the key and he locked it. And he knew that that was his replacement. 
and he slowly walks down the aisle to exit the cathedral. And the, the kid looked at him, and he put his hand out. He said, the key. And, and the old man looked at him. He said, the key, please. And the old man reached in his pocket and handed him the key. And when he did, the kid bolts down the aisle, sits down at the organ, unlocks it, and starts playing. Started playing music such as the world had never heard. As the old man recanted, recounted his story, he stood there with tears in his eyes and said, what if, what if I hadn't given the master the key? My friends, that's when the world was introduced to Johann Sebastian Bach. And the rest is history. What if I didn't hand the master the key? Ladies and gentlemen, I realize, and we all must realize, regardless of where you are in life, someone else is waiting for that message. Someone is waiting for that encouragement. Someone is waiting for those words. for their key to change history. And so I'm going to leave you with that. You can contact me on Facebook, North Mississippi Anti-Gang Stalking Association. You can private message me. I'd love to hear from you, hear your story. Follow me on YouTube, United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. And until next time, God bless you.